In today's video, we're diving into the must-have Skyrim mods for late November 2024. Whether you're looking to enhance your gameplay, add stunning visuals, or bring new life to your favorite cities, we've got you covered. So without further ado, let's get started. First up is the NPC-related mod, True Sons of Skyrim Refined, which was released in its final version on November 15th, 2024. This mod changes the appearance of numerous male Nord NPCs in Skyrim and introduces over 40 new NPCs assigned as Imperials, Stormcloaks, or Guards. The male Nord NPCs now have unique Viking Nordic-inspired appearances, making them look more immersive and diverse. The mod reimagines these characters' appearances to provide a more engaging and varied experience. The previously flat and generic appearances of male NPCs are now more three-dimensional and realistic resembling NPCs from medieval games. The mod can be installed using faux mod, allowing you to choose from several appearance options for each NPC. Some NPCs even wear glasses, giving the mod an ultimate overhaul feel for male NPC replacers. However, since NPC mods can often conflict with others, it's important to ensure that this mod does not overlap with other NPC replacers you may be using. If you're looking to enhance the visual diversity and realism of male Nord NPCs in Skyrim, this mod is definitely worth checking out. Next up is General Tullius Refined. This mod provides an overhaul of General Tullius' appearance using the COTR framework. It introduces a standalone body mesh and texture, giving General Tullius a more distinguished and refined look. The mod includes a faux mod installer with male body options like Sam Light and optimized 2K Vitruvia skin textures for performance-friendly enhancements. If you're looking to give General Tullius a more unique and immersive appearance, this mod is definitely worth checking out. Also, there is an early access mod called Dragon's Eye Minimap that adds an interesting new minimap to the interface. While there are already existing minimap mods, this one is unique because it brings the format of the local map directly to the minimap. This means it displays more detailed information, such as quest markers, entrances, hostile NPCs, and even the locations of corpses. Additionally, the map can rotate, and you can toggle it on and off with a hotkey, making it very convenient to use only when needed. This mod is being developed by Alexalex, who also created the local map mod. It is almost complete and will soon be available on Nexus mods. Although it might be a bit early, I wanted to introduce this mod to you because it has some great features. Keep an eye out for its release. This time, let's talk about some visual mods. I found a few interesting ones. And first up are Green Thumb White Run and Green Thumb Solitude. These mods add ivy to the roofs and walls of buildings in White Run and Solitude, along with various plants. By using these mods, the buildings, walls, and roofs of the cities are covered with ivy, creating a harmonious blend of nature and architecture. For solitude, the mod also adds neatly arranged grass and colorful trees, enhancing the city's scenery to make it more immersive and lively. The addition of ivy and various plants to the buildings and walls contributes to a more vibrant environment. If you haven't modded modern cities or are looking for a change, Modding your cities based on the Green Thumb mods might be a great idea. These mods have excellent features but aren't widely known, so I wanted to introduce them through this channel. Next up is Simplicity of Settlements Morthal Base Object Swapper. This mod uses the Base Object Swapper framework to make the snow in Morthal look more natural. For example, in my case, since I use Skyfall's fortified Morthal, the paths in Morthal had no snow at all. However, with this mod, the snow accumulates on the sides of the paths, better representing the cold of Morthal. The original intention is to prevent snow from accumulating in the middle of the paths where people walk, and to vary the snow accumulation on roofs depending on their position. In my case, since I use Skyfall's fortified Morthal, the buildings are different, so the roofs didn't apply to all buildings except one. However, I felt that the snow accumulation on the paths in Morthal was more realistically represented. If you also want to experience this realistic snow accumulation and improve the details of the snow in Morthal, 
I recommend trying this mod. It has great features but isn't widely known, so I wanted to introduce it through this channel. Next up is Diverse Farmhouse Chimneys Base Object Swapper. This mod is a mesh replacer that adds 20 different chimneys to farmhouses in Skyrim. It uses the Base Object Swapper framework to replace base objects and references without editing the world space or cells, ensuring compatibility with other mods. The mod introduces various types of chimneys, including tiled chimneys, board-covered chimneys, and chimneys without crowns, all designed to fit the Nordic feel of Skyrim. Additionally, it adds ivy variants with different levels of growth, emphasizing harmony with nature. The mod requires minimal patching, making it easy to integrate into your existing mod setup, and adds more variety and realism to the farmhouses in Skyrim. Next up is Comfy Coffins. This mod replaces common coffins, solitude coffins, and vampire coffins in Skyrim with more detailed and comfortable looking versions. The coffins are mid-poly with mostly 2K textures, ensuring a high quality visual upgrade without impacting performance. The mod includes optional animated meshes and is compatible with everything that doesn't replace coffin meshes. It also works well with animated clutter and animated coffins with the provided patch. If you're looking to add a touch of comfort and style to the coffins in Skyrim, this mod is definitely worth checking out. This section is about buildings. Recently, I've been looking into mods to rebuild cities, and the Skyrim Fantasy Overhaul, Fantastic City Walls mod caught my eye, so I decided to introduce it. This mod adds new walls and towers to major cities in Skyrim, providing a fresh and fantasy-inspired look. As an all-in-one package, it surrounds the cities of Whiterun, Riften, Windhelm, and Solitude with new walls and towers, making them appear more grandiose. However, it seems that this mod adds additional walls to the existing outer walls. So whether the textures of the existing walls and the new walls from this mod blend well may vary depending on the textures you use. In my case, the existing wall textures in Windhelm didn't match well with this mod, and there were some issues with walls being empty or floating in certain sections of solitude. However, since you can choose individual cities with this mod, I plan to add the outer walls to Riften. Riften has often been neglected, so I've only relied on JK's mods, but I plan to use this mod together to improve the city further. If you're looking to mod your cities, I think this mod is worth paying attention to, so I wanted to introduce it. For the final section, I'll be introducing outfit mods, starting with Common Clothing Expansion. This mod adds four lore-friendly outfits to the game, designed to fit Skyrim's vanilla aesthetic. The textures are hand-painted in 2K, and the meshes were modeled in Blender. The mod includes body slide files, allowing you to build to fit custom bodies, and pre-built meshes for Himbo and CBBE. The mod is compatible with everything, and the load order doesn't matter. If you're looking to add some new, lore-friendly clothing options to your game, this mod is a must-have. Next up is Sinekio Armor. This mod aims to add a stylish and traditional armor set to Skyrim. It offers both heavy and light armor options, and you can choose from three different colors, steel, copper, and gold. The outfit is made of leather with a deep neckline and features plated protection on the wrists and ankles, reminiscent of armor from Bless Online. The outfit has a fantasy game or adventurer vibe, making it a great choice for female characters to use comfortably. Next up is Spriggan Armor. This mod is the latest creation by Fuse, featuring a unique theme inspired by the Spriggans. Initially, the mask that covers half of the face and the amulet necklace were impressive, but I was amazed when I realized the highlight of this outfit is the flowers blooming on the right wrist. Each flower has SMP effects, making them feel alive. Additionally, the fabric above the boots and all parts of the outfit have natural SMP physics, giving it a unique yet natural feel. You can craft this armor at a forge. If you prefer unique and natural themes, this outfit is definitely worth trying out. That's it for today's video on the must-have Skyrim mods for late November 2024. 
I hope you found some new and exciting mods to enhance your Skyrim experience. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more modding content and updates. If you have any suggestions or mods you'd like to see featured in future videos, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy modding.